So it indeed was a very insightful session. We now come to the last and final session of the day. Our next speaker is uh, Harsha Kikeri, who is the founder and CEO of Holosuit. Uh, Harsha aims to enable everybody to learn from the past, understand the present, and invent the future anywhere, anytime. So let's hear from Harsha in terms of how humans can skill themselves augmented with rob robots using Holosuit through a combination of emerging technologies such as AR, VR, robotics, and 5G. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for kind of staying so late and uh, uh, being here to listen to this. I'll be very, very quick. So basically, what we are doing is me and my wife co-founded this company in Mysore. Uh, we now about, have about uh, 100 people who are working in the we were able to get Yurad Singh and Army and many others to get to skill their people, right? How do we, and we have all these patents as part of the product thing around the world. Uh, and of course, these are some things that uh, we have done. But more importantly, what is this metaverse, right? What can we do? Like if you want to kind of bring back, let's say, Michael Jackson, holographically alive, not just in space travel, somebody was talking about beam me up. I have done that also. My previous product was called beam, which literally teleported you. But now we can holographically port you, bring you back from the dead, right? So in the metaverse, what can happen? You can actually have cricketers coming right into your doorsteps and teaching you, not just the cricketers, the entire cricket field can come. And in the metaverse, you can have people with disabilities now flying around. Especially in the metaverse, we can have the kids getting access to Harvard, Stanford level infrastructure, as well as the professors coming there and teaching them in the best form. Every village, every school in India and in every developing country can actually have access to, tech, to teachers and infrastructure better than Harvard or Stanford at an extremely low cost and highly sustainable because if you look at all this mobility solution, this is the lowest cost of mobility. Light travels at a speed of, like, has no mass, right? So holographically, if you transport yourself, this is the most sustainable mobility you can have. So to do that, we have developed a few things uh, here in India and uh, this has been shipped to about 19 countries around the world. These are all the places where skilling can happen either in healthcare or in sports or in military or in factories. And how can this happen, right? So I won't go into the details. This is the whole kind of uh, metaverse space which has everything from motion capture to extended reality to kind of uh, digital economy, to blockchain, to avatars, to real world interactions, spatial maps, and monetizing in the real world using 3D universes, robotics, telepresence, teleoperation. But I'll just give you some demonstrations of these things so that it becomes easier to understand. So essentially all metaverse is, is you virtualize the environment, you virtualize the human body, and you let them interact. So the humans can enter here into the metaverse and emerge on the other side as robots. So here is me entering into the metaverse wearing the hollow suit and emerging as a robot and shaking hands of Prime Minister Modi ji. So whenever I am moving, the robot is moving. Similarly, this can be applied in, why do we need this, right? This is very useful because all our agriculture, all our farmers can learn about your automobiles, how to use them, right? And this gives a very quick glance of how this can Hi there, Harsha Kikeri here. I'm the CEO and founder of Robot Guru. We are interested in hiring a million and skilling a billion. And we are using a combination of robotics, augmented reality, virtual reality, as well as artificial intelligence to connect teachers and students, both physically as well as virtually. So for example, here is a virtual robot, and here is a real robot. Or is this virtual and this real? Let us. So which one, who, how many of you think white one is the real one? Nobody, everybody thinks white is virtual. Let us find out. Let me scale this robot. 
let me scale it down so white was the real one right blue was the virtual one so this is being used by indian soldiers already to train themselves and get them into the metaverse by bringing in all the jk jammu and kashmir terrain and see the soldiers are wearing this technology going into the metaverse they can see each other they have gone into jammu and kashmir they can see the terrorists coming in and they will be able to train themselves on various operations anything in the real world they are doing is mapped to the virtual world and any feedback like let's say they get a bullet they will actually feel it on the physical world so this is what we mean by the digital metaverse which augments humans and robots and it's not just limited to i think the display has gone okay so it can control not just virtual avatars but real robots sorry i don't have volume control but essentially in real time you can control directly or you can wear the vr headset and remotely control it for example many of the space agencies are using this to clean a lot of their activities so this is inside one of the space agencies but this is not just limited to this 5g right so ericsson is demonstrating here how in their factories they can actually use the metaverse concept to train the robots like they have a 550 million dollar automated factory and here they are demonstrating how they can use 5g to remotely actually train retrain reskill robots right and it's not just limited to small robots here is the indian military with india's largest 7.7 feet robot which is actually going to go and save our soldiers life right because the soldiers can stay here send these robots to kill the terrorists similarly applications of this metaverse are going to be in sports in teaching robotics in all the labs virtualizing them in veterinary training in terms of helping all these industry workers understand how to operate various equipment in rehabilitation in helping our farmers increase their yield in helping our military people connect to the drones via the metaverse and visualize it so the possibilities of the metaverse are actually endless so i really want all of us to be the leaders in industry 5.0 in fact india was always kind of like each age we were kind of lagging this is the time amrut kal where we can actually be the pioneers thank you very much i leave another 3 minutes for question and answers content creation is it uh, uh, creating scenarios do you create uh, say for example you took the kashmir thing creating a scenario which simulate uh, that need to be simulated in a metaverse actually the key is challenge is just awareness right because we a lot of the technologies which are needed have already been developed the cost is extremely low the content creation can happen extremely quickly with holo capture i think i didn't show all the things i mean if you looked at the five slides we have looked at wherever the challenges are and solve those built technologies to solve them of course there are few more challenges but already this is not future already around 40 colleges in india have entered the metaverse right they are already using all these technologies to teach for me to teach veterinary whatever i showed is not in the future this is already happening so the only thing is awareness right we need to spread the word around that this is a technology we should adopt immediately because this is giving you 10x 100x 1000x returns because once you digitize something and make it interactive then it can be replicated everywhere in any other questions as i can see there are many use cases that has been delivered uh, through this metaverse so holosuit has developed a uh, entire entire platform for the metaverse or there is any underlying already developed platform we have for? developed the platform uh, so essentially uh, this holo world is a platform where i think i showed all the layers uh, earlier where there are many many layers we have developed the key technology see there are some things for example vr headset which it will work with any vr headset right but holo suit is patented by us. so that's why we have like that there is a holographic projector which is patented by us. so there are key technologies which we have developed in house and patented worldwide and the idea was when i was in microsoft i have about 45 patents here 
what I saw was a lot of the technologies get developed first in US and then by the time it comes over here, the latest technologies, already people would have developed a lot of things on top of it, applications. So my idea was let us come here, build the products and give it to the people so that Indians can develop first. That's why we didn't release it there. In fact, this has been shipped to 19 countries including Israelis, Japanese, they are all using it, South Korea. Everybody is using Holosuit, right? SoftBank is using it. But first we developed and implemented here and then shipped it. Thank you. But we really need a lot of uh, help from NASCOM. Thank you for having us here and showcasing this. Hey, so that was really interesting and uh, you know, what a great talk uh, to end this NASCOM. But uh, Harsha really uh, showed us a new paradigm of uh, skilling ourselves and uh, uh, the metaverse thing, how it has tremendous applications in all fields like defense, sports, uh, education. And uh, what I really like about it is what he said, that uh, metaverse is uh, not future, it is present and it is already being used. Uh, and uh, we just, and we could be the real leaders. I mean, it could be, you know, the India could be the first uh, one which will be leading the metaverse initiative. And I really like uh, uh, that energy and enthusiasm. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's I think uh, a very, very uh, new way of uh, skilling ourselves. And I'm sure with time, there'll be a lot more applications uh, coming out of this. So yeah. Uh, thank, you ahead, so, thank you so much, uh, Sandeep. Indeed, I think to reiterate what, uh, what Sandeep said, uh, Metaverse truly uh, presents the art of possible uh, in terms of the extent of applications that are possible. And in addition, I think what was also interesting is the testimony to the innovation capabilities of uh, India. So I think uh, it was a wonderful session to end with. Uh, uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, all the sessions as much as I did. It was a wonderful learning experience. Um, so what, what do you think, uh, Sandeep? Oh, I think uh, it's, a, it's a great three days of uh, engineering summit and uh, today in person uh, show at uh, in this beautiful city, Bangalore. So, and today is incidentally also the engineer's day. So, uh, you know, it's a great to be here and uh, I think uh, looking forward to already next year. So, thank you very much uh, for being here and I hope uh, you had enjoyed the show. There is a lot of learning. And looking forward to seeing you next year. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And looking forward to see you all next year.